Good day, good day everyone and once again we are back together and today we'll be looking at logs, uh, uh, logarithms. Alright, so uh, if you haven't subscribed just please make uh, do the right thing and uh, just subscribe to our channel and of course tell all your friends, your family, everyone that your favorite uncle is really doing the most when it comes to maths and science education. Alright, so let's have a look at uh, our logs. All right. Um, in this case, so we're looking at logarithms and I'm going to be introducing them today. Right. So essentially, what is a log? OK, so I want you to think about it. So when we dealt with exponents, right, if you think about it, let me just make an example with two. So if I say two uh, in this case uh, to the exponent three. So in this case, two raised to the exponents uh, exponent three gives me eight, right? So in this case, remember, we call this the base. Okay. And this we call the log, I mean, uh, the exponent. Okay. And in this case, obviously, this would be our number, our solution. Okay. So if you think about it, so we, we look at it and we say, all right, uh, okay, let me write that nicely. Okay, so that's our number. All right, so we know how do we read this? That the base, in this case of 2, raised to the exponent 3, gives us 8, right? But now, when we look at logs in this case, what it simply says, all right, so we write this this way. What it simply says, if I were to take log base of 2, okay, of 8, so what this simply asks is, what is the exponent that would give me 8 if the base is 2? Do you get that? What would be the exponent that would give me an answer of 8 if my base is 2? And of course, if you take this, that would give you 3 as an answer. All right. So essentially what you are doing is actually just reversing in a way the, 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 you know, the understanding of exponents. All right. So simply in this case, we are looking at it from that perspective. Now, there are uh, several laws and you'll see how there's a correlation between what we did in exponents as well as what we do under uh, logarithms. OK, so I want us to look at law number one. OK, so. So, uh, in fact, let me do this. Let's say the laws of exponents, right? So, the first law, all we simply say is that if we've got, in this case, um, the basis, or rather, let me rather say the uh, indices that are multiplied. So, if I multiply my numbers, in this case, so let's say log base n of a multiplied by b, right? So what I do is if I multiply in this case, then it means that we will add. OK, so do you remember that from exponents? So this will be equal to log base n of a plus log base n of b. Please note in this case, this is a multiplied by b. OK, right. So log, uh, I mean, uh, law number two. In this case, when we divide we subtract, okay? So simply, if I've got the log of base n of a divided by b, in this case, all we simply say is this will be log base n of a minus log base n of b, okay? So if we divide in this case, we will therefore uh, um, uh, uh, subtract, okay? Right, law number three. All these laws are very important. So log base n, okay, if I have a raised to the exponent of x, all right, please note we drop it down. So in this case, we simply drop the exponent down. So this will be x log base of n to the index a, right? So in this case, I want you to note when we raise it to the power, that power in this case, or that exponent in this case drops down. Okay, right. So these are the laws that we are going 
uh, to to apply all right now please i want you to be careful ladies and gents and i'm going to write these in a different color so that you remember not to make these mistakes right oftentimes you'd see people saying okay so if i have log of a let's say log n base uh, uh, times a or rather uh, uh, index a multiplied by log of n of b right please i ask you this is not equal to log of n a plus b notice when we multiply in this case our indices then we add uh, we add the logs right not the other way around please do not make this mistake similarly when i have log let's say of n um divided by okay let me just make uh, log n divided by uh, log of m right this will not be equal to log of n minus m okay that is not true okay so please be careful of these uh, little hohakis all right because sometimes they cost us some marks all right now I want to just extend the laws uh, in this case uh, of what we should know when it comes to exponents and thereafter we're going to take some examples now something for us to remember is that so if we've got the log of base n right um base n uh, index n right so when the base and the index is the same so we say this is simply equal to one Please, ladies and gents, look out for this one. So if you've got log of 10, so usually when we don't write the base there, we always assume that that is base 10, right? So log 10 base, uh, log 10 base 10, that will obviously be equal to 1, okay? Similarly, even uh, um, I can apply this rule here. So if I give you, let's say, the log of 100, okay, how can I simplify this? We can write this as saying, okay, but we know that this would be log 100 is 10 squared, right? But we know this would be base 10, isn't it? Because when we don't have, or when the base is not written, so in this case, we assume that it's going to be base 10. So then we apply the third law in this case. So that will be 2 log of 10 base 10, right? But we know that is equal to 1 because remember, when the index and the uh, um, exponent is the, I mean, uh, the index and the base are the same. So in this case, this would simply mean this is 2 times 1, which is equal to uh, 2. Okay. Right. I hope that makes sense, ladies and gents. All right. So we will keep applying these laws as we go along. All right. If you don't mind, I'm just going to remove this so that I give way to the other laws so that we keep on um, continuing and we can refer to them a little later on. Right, now, the fifth law, and I want you to be mindful of this, okay, is that, well, it, it's not a law per se, but it's just things that we just need to be aware of, right? Uh, the log of one, okay, it doesn't matter what the base is. So if I say a uh, log of a, and my index is 1, please note that this will be 0. Remember what the log means, right? It says, what is, in this case, uh, my exponent, okay? If you remember what I started with there, right? What will be the exponent that gives me an answer of 8 if my base is 2, right? And of course, we found that it's going to be exponent 3, right? So again, when you look at this, what will be the exponent, right? So in this case, what would be the exponent? If uh, um, rather the answer is 1, what should be my exponent in that case? It should be 0. For whatever base that you have, anything to the power 0 would give you uh, 1. So in this case, we know that the log of 1 for any base would be equal to 0. Now, please, I want you to also be careful, ladies and gents, because what it means is that when we've got the log of zero, okay, right? So in this case, there is no 
exponent that I can use to get an answer of zero, right? So in this case, what can I have? Let's say I've got a base. What is the exponent that I can have so that I have zero as an answer, okay? There's absolutely none, right? So the log of zero is essentially undefined. I want you to please remember that, okay? So whatever the base is, this is undefined, okay? So please keep that in mind, all right? So uh, these are all our laws when it comes to uh, uh, the logarithms. So what we're going to do in the next few seconds is I just want us as an introduction just to familiarize ourselves with these laws. I want us to take some examples. All right, please keep these laws in mind, all right, because we're going to be applying them quite a bit. All right, so let's consider the following examples. So they say express each of the following as a uh, as the log rather of a single number. All right, so let's look at the first one. So we're going to finish all of these examples and we're going to be very quick about it. So log 4 plus log 7. So let's start with that one. Okay, so I just want to use a different color for the solution. So here are our solutions. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Say, so they said to us we've got log of 4 plus the log of 7. I want us to get used to the idea of using the laws, right? So if you think about it, so we said in the first law, when we are adding, in this case, it means that we can multiply. And please note that the bases are the same. So we said if there's no number here, it means we've got base 10, right? So the bases are the same. And in this case, we are adding. So therefore, we can write this as the log of a single number. And that number would be 4 multiplied by 7 right so if you think about it so we can write this as the log of a single number which is log of base 10 we don't need to write base 10 but 4 multiplied by 7 would give us 28 so this would be the same as saying the log of 28 now please remember i am applying the first law in reverse we said log 4 multiplied by 7 would be the same as log 4 plus log of 7 so in this case, remember that they had not given us any uh, basis per se, but we know when we don't have basis, we just use 10. Okay, right. So the next one, um, they have given us, all right, log 35 minus log 5. Okay, so we've got log of 35 minus log 5. I don't need to tell you again that in this case, uh, it means that we have uh, base 10. Right, so log of 35 minus the log of 5. So we can express this as a single log, right? So in this case, this would be the same as saying log of. Now note when we subtract, it means that we can divide the logs, right? I'm applying law number 2. So log of 35 divided by 5 in this case. Okay, and what does that give us? We're expressing that as the log of a single number this would be the same as log of 7, right? 35 divided by 5 would give us 7. All right, moving swiftly along. All right, let's go to C. So for our C, so we've got log of uh, 7 exponent 3 minus log 7. Okay, so let's look at that. Log of 7 raised to the exponent 3 minus the log of 7. All right, now, what we can do uh, in this case, right, remember our initial instinct is to always, you know, just make this jump down, and we've got log of, uh, so that's going to be, so the one way of solving it, we can say, well, this is log uh, uh, 3 log 7, right, so this one jumps down, we're using log, num I mean, law number 3, Right, so this is going to be uh, 3 log 7 minus log 7. Now remember, these two are exactly the same. So this would be the same as saying 3a minus a, right? Because these are exactly the same thing. 
what does that give us? It would give us 2a, right? So this would be uh, 2 log 7, okay? And as a result, if you want to, you can express this. So you can take this and say, well, that's going to be log of 7, okay? I want you to note in this case, right? So we take the 2, but it becomes the exponent. So this is log 7 squared. So you can say this is log of 49. Um, I just want to show you that this would have been exactly the same thing. Someone else could have solved it differently. Okay. Um, so in this case, what someone else would have done was to say, well, this is the same as log of 7 cubed. Now remember, we said if we are dividing then it means that, I mean, it, if we are subtracting, then it means that we can divide. So that would be 7 cubed divided by 7, okay? So that would be the log of, now in this case, 7 into itself once, and obviously in that case, that would be 7 squared that is left, and of course 7 squared is 49. And I, uh, you can see how this and that are exactly the same thing, right? So... Uh, moving very swiftly along, okay, I hope that you are getting the hang of this. So, the next one is log uh, 2 log 5. So, you can see how we solve that, 2 log of 5, okay. So, you can write this as a single log by simply saying, well, this is going to be log 5 squared, right? So, that 2 becomes an exponent. So, this would be equal to the log of 25 all right so we are applying our third law in this case so note um, we are moving very swiftly right so we're going to have 3 log 2 minus log 5 okay so we've got 3 log 2 minus the log of 5 all right so we can use our second law all right we said in this case uh, first of all, let's use our third law to si try and simplify this one. So you've got log of 2 exponent 3, right, minus the log of 5, okay? And we can use our second law, all right, and say, well, that is equal to 2 exponent 3 divided by 5, okay? So what does that give us? that would be log of 2 exponent 3, that's 8 over 5. Okay, so we can write that as a single exponent just like that, okay? Right, so uh, going right to f, okay? So um, looking at f, we've got log base 3 of 3, log base 3 of 5. Okay, so we've got log base 3 of 3, okay, minus log base 3 of 5. All right, now, ladies and gents, I want you to please keep in mind that log base 3 of 3, that would be equal to 1, right? So you can actually say this is 1 minus the log. Remember, we said whenever the index as well as the base are the same, so in that case, it simply becomes 1. So that would be 1 minus the log base 3 of 5. But in this case, uh, they did say that we must simplify to it being a single log, right? So what I'm instead going to do is use our division rule, right? So we've got a minus sign there. Okay, so I'm going to say this is the log of base 3. But now we've got 3 over 5, okay? So that would be uh, what it looks like. Okay, right. And then finally, we've got the last one. Okay, and the last one is if we've got log base 3 of 6 minus 2, we're writing it as a single log, right? Oh, actually, in the previous one, it was plus, right? Um, so that would have been, so let's just fix that. So that's log base 3. Uh, if it's a plus, then it means that we would say 
this is 3 multiplied by 5 and so that would be the log of base 3 of 15 all right so i'm going to leave it in that format okay but nonetheless i guess you've gotten yourself a bonus one there all right so let's look at the last one we said we've got okay uh log uh, base 3 of 6 uh, minus 2 okay log base 3 of 6 minus 2 all right and all that we're simply going to do ladies and gents again we apply our logarithm rules now we've got a number here how can we make that into base 3 please i want you to listen carefully right so this is log base 3 of 6 minus now you you would agree with me that this is uh, 2 multiplied by 1 right but remember how can we write 1 as a as a log right so 1 would be the same as log of the same base so i'm going to make it the same base base 3 and in this case for it to be 1 it has to have the same uh, um, index right now you you think about it so in this case what do we have there so two times log base three of three this would be the same as uh, so that's log of base three of six and in this case this would be we're applying our third law so that would be um, log base three of three squared right okay so nothing has changed there if we were to drop this down that becomes a two and in this case log base three of three is one and we would be back uh, just having two there uh, but nonetheless um, let's now apply our division rule so this would be okay our second law so this would be the same as log base three of six divided by three squared okay um, but remember three squared is nine right so this would be six over nine which would be the same as well um both of them are multiples of three three goes into six twice uh, into nine three times so this would be the same as log base of uh two over three remember we said three goes into six twice and goes into nine three times and that's why we we've got two over three there ladies and gents i hope that made sense we're going to come back again looking at logs and of course um if you haven't subscribed please just make sure that you're part of this family i will be uh, continuing with the lesson on logs and i hope that you enjoyed this particular lesson i will see you again next time don't forget to subscribe and like and uh, of course we'll continue uh, again next time shop shop